I'm Nick Baker, TV presenter and wildlife enthusiast. I'm spending a couple of days in the South Australian bush. A fantastic, rugged, mountainous outback landscape, unique and diverse flora and fauna. These are the Flinders Ranges. The Flinders are the largest mountain range in South Australia. The first human habitation here was 49,000 years ago, and the descendants of the Udniamatna people still remain in the area to this day. I'm exchanging four wheels for two because, as ever, the best way of getting to know this place is being out in it. Tony here is going to take me for a spin and show me what Rawnsley Station has to offer. <laughs> Tony, it's been an amazing ride so far. Where, where have you brought us to? Well, we're pretty much in the centre of Rawnsley Park Station. Uh, we've got the Chase Range on our left, um, Elder Range in front of us, and Rawnsley Bluff to our right. So whichever way you look, we've got a beautiful backdrop. Yes, what, yes. What, what wildlife are we like to see for the rest of the ride? Uh, we often see quite a few kangaroos in this area and emu and possibly a wedge-tailed eagle if we're, if we're lucky. Excellent. Right, let's go. It's not just the majestic wedge-tailed eagles that can take to the sky. To truly get the scale of the Flinders landscape, you need a bit of altitude. Well, Pina Pound is a huge natural amphitheatre and the name is Aboriginal, meaning place where fingers bend as the whole mountain resembles the shape of cupped hands. Well, it's been a day of cycling and helicopter rides and all the excitement that goes with those. Now it's time for something a little more tranquil. We've come up to what the locals call the chase for a little sundowner. I tell you, it's been thirsty work. The team at Rawnsley Park has given me an incredible day today, a real outback adventure in Australia's great outdoors. From Rawlsley Park, we can get over to see Bretchner Gorge. That's where the oldest fossils on Earth that represent multicellular animals can be found. And if geological stuff like that isn't your thing, well, it's also the home to an animal that is alive and well today. Well, I think you're going to like that. And there they are. This is one of the animals I really wanted to see on this trip and snuggled up there looking well, just like one of the many coloured rocks here, is the yellow-footed rock wallaby. Now, this is the one that stands out from the crowd as far as I'm concerned. So, what, what have we got here? These are the Archaeocyatha. A bit of water on here and you'll see them oh, no. come to life. It's like magic. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're fantastic little things. Look, you, know, little, you can see the structures there. So how old are these? Well, around about 540 million years, okay. give or take a couple. So relative, relatively, uh, relatively new, really, compared well. to the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the fossils that made the gorge famous. The Cambrian explosion. Yeah, and this, this is where, where it happened. From Bratchner Gorge, I'm driving to Parachilna, an outback town home to just three permanent residents. And it's famous for the Prairie Hotel pub. It dates back to the 19th century when Parachilna was a popular stop on the rail line running north. We're meeting Jane, who owns the Prairie Hotel, to find out more about this incredible place. This is our feral feast. We try to source locally as much as we can. We're offering kind of a meet them, then eat them package. We're seeing the wildlife out <laughs> this there. Is good, this is good for conservation as well though, isn't it? Yeah, ex exactly. And our feral mixed grill has been listed as one of the top 100 gourmet experiences in Australia. One thing's for certain, 48 hours in the Flinders Ranges is not enough. We've barely scratched the surface, but I've been here long enough to get a real flavour of just what this corner of Australia can offer. It's really worth checking out. <laughs> 